the DEP is still out on site working to stabilize those chemicals. You can still smell that chlorine in the air. Now, it's that chlorine that prompted the shelter in place and alert emergency officials were able to get out to this community quickly. This is a picture of that thick cloud of chlorine that blanketed parts of Rochester and the surrounding community Saturday morning. This after a chemical fire and chlorine gas leak at the Beaver Alkali Products Facility on Friday. Any type of emergency, we would notify residents via our reverse 911 system, and we call it SWIFT 911. Kevin Whipple is the deputy director of the Beaver County Emergency Services. He said this incident prompted those notifications, which provide vital information via text, phone calls to either landlines or cell phones, or email to the community in emergency situations. If it's a police incident, it might tell you to just stay indoors. If it's a SWAT incident, it might tell you to stay indoors. Uh, anything that's pertinent to the call. In this incident, residents were notified of the shelter in place when it was issued and lifted. The county has utilized this program for at least four years and it's proven successful. We have about 52,000 people that are in the system right now. Um, the more people that are in it, the better. And it's very important that you sign up and you keep your information up to date.